Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollowed Thrills back with another video and today we have another speculation map to go over. That's right, last week we had another speculation map come out from our friends over at Horror Night Nightmares and this is speculation map version 2. Now there is a ton of changes as we expected between the last map and this one. So we have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get into it. But before we do that, please make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you're following both my Instagram and my Twitter. The links are down below in the description so you can keep up to date on breaking news such as the speculation maps. Speculation map version 2 for HHN 31 from Horror Night Nightmares does have a few changes like I did say. But let's start off with the biggest change being our supposed headliner for the event. And our headliner for the event was in Speculation Map version 1, Fear Street. And unfortunately, it looks like Fear Street has now gone on the wayside after the release of the new trailer for Stranger Things Season 4. Which means that Stranger Things is looking like it is going to be our headliner, our marquee IP for this year's event as shown on the speculation map version 2. Now I will say before we go any further these are just speculation maps so it's based on current speculation so the, they could change as the season progresses but this is just what we are thinking and our best guess as of right now. Now if we head on as Stranger Things is looking like it's going to be in the music plaza right there in the front if we head right next door to it back in uh, Jimmy Fallon where that queue is normally last time this was Seaside Village and it's looking like there were two ideas of what it could possibly be and it looks like Dead Man's Wharf is the one that is taking the lead on it possibly coming as a house this year instead of a scare zone which I for one am super excited as Dead Man's Wharf was an amazing scare zone from what I've heard at 26 and just a little taste of it that we got last year in the Lights, Camera, Action Scare Zone. I really love the concept of that house. And I really would love to see how it works in a house format that allows them to build the story a little bit more. Let's talk about the next house, which is what is replacing Fear Street as a location on the map. As this is the back left of the street where... Uh, Tooth Fairy was last year and this is looking like an original that as of right now all we know is that it is a bug themed house. Now bugs depending on what kind do slightly creep me out. Spiders are the number one thing that I am afraid of so hopefully it's nothing spider related because bugs on the other hand the rest of the bugs just don't really do it for me but I'm interested to see where they go with this i think it could be pretty scary and it really dives into that what are people afraid of type of house now moving right next door to it where icons was last year is where universal monsters the mummy versus the wolfman got moved to now this location there hasn't mu much hasn't changed with this it just is the exact same name and it just has changed location so we're going to move on from that Moving on to now the location letters have changed for this where we are now at location E which is now the Fast and Furious location and location E is now saying that it is El Chupacabra. So it looks like El Chupacabra may be coming in the Fast and Furious location or this may just be a mix up on the map as to where they put the letters this time but I don't think that they would do something like that. I think this is more likely of where El Chupacabra is going to go, which I would be super excited for El Chupacabra to come in this new location. And from what we've been seeing on construction updates on this location, it's looking like a pretty decent sized house. So I'm excited for that. Now moving on to location F. Now this is a new location as we have gotten rid of Curse of Pandora's box. New to this location, kind of at the men in black tent it's looking like we are going to have the return of the horrors of blum house and this time it's looking like it's going to be the black phone and freaky 
Now, I really love Freaky. I love the whole concept of it. And I, I personally have not seen the movie, but from the trailers, I it was one of the movies that I really wanted to see. I just never got around to it. And then The Black Phone is one of their newer movies that is coming out from Blumhouse that does look very interesting. And I would love to see what they would do with it in a house. But it does make sense that they would be putting Blumhouse in the Men in Black tent as this is the location that it's been at the other two times it's been at the event. Now, moving on to the only thing on this map that has really stayed the same, and that is Underground Creatures. Still nothing has changed with it as far as the name or what we else we know about it, but it's still in the exact same location where Wicked Growth was last year. But speaking of Wicked Growth, in the location directly next to where it originally was last year, where Puppet Theater was last year, we're rumored right now to be getting Wicked Growth 2, which I'm interested to see why they would bring back something that was, I mean, it was a hit last year, but I don't understand why they would bring it back so soon. Um, it's just, it just does not make sense to me. So I'm not entirely sure if this one's going to stick around, but I, don't get me wrong. I would love to see the Pumpkin Lord back for another year as that house was fantastic last year. Now heading on to the last two spots, and the first one is in the new parade building, which is Halloween. And now I finally started to hear some rumors of which one it's going to be, and it does sound like it's going to be the 2018 Halloween, which I am super excited for. And if you remember way back when, when I continually talked about 2018 coming to the event, I did say it would make sense if they put 2018 in the new parade building and then projected the trailer for the newest movie that's coming up next on the side of the building. And I think that's what we might be getting this year, which I am super excited for. And I love the Halloween franchise and I am loved the 2018 movie. So if that comes to HHN, I'm all for it. And last but not least, keeping on the speculation map, The weekend is still on the speculation map but instead of being rumored to be at fast and furious he's now rumored to be in the old parade building which does make a little bit more sense for the amount of crowd that may come to this house because there is a lot of space back there for queues and everything for the old parade building so it 100 percent makes more sense for the weekend to be coming to that location rather than fast and furious now the only other changes that are on the speculation map starting off we have our second show, which we knew all in Horror Nights when they announced tickets and dates did say that there was going to be a second show. So that did make an appearance on the map. And it is rumored as of right now to be in the, the Fear Factor stage. So nothing's changed as far as locations for that. But the only other thing that is on the map that not a lot of people did notice right off the bat was we do have a rumored scare zone, which it is super early in the season to be talking about scare zones. But it looks like we have our first rumored one for this year in the Central Park area, and that is Scarecrow. Now, this does kind of match up with Hollywood's event, as they're rumored to get a Scarecrow house. But it's looking like we might get a follow-up to our house in a scare zone. Now, a lot of people are saying, I don't know how this is going to work, because a lot of history says that Houses that go to scare zones don't really do as well. I hope that that's wrong because I would love to see how Scarecrow works in the streets and I would love to see how they do it in Central Park of all locations because that is probably the location that I would think would be the best fit for a scare zone of Scarecrow. But that is all we have for Speculation Map version 2 from Horror Night Nightmares over on Twitter and Instagram. Go check them out if you haven't already and just keep up to date on all of the new speculation maps that are coming out in the future. But as always, I'm Michael. This has been Hollow Thrills and I'll see you guys next time.